Good evening. In St. Paul, a home is leveled, and now a gas leak is suspected in that explosion. Two people are hurt. A three-year-old who was across the street is doing okay, but the 80-year-old man inside the home suffered critical injuries. Here's Carol Evans sharing you. This building and others on this block of Payne Avenue have now been condemned after yesterday's explosion and at the site of the explosion, all there's left is debris and devastation for people to look at. With the tape and the lights gone, it's just sad. Things are a lot more up close, stunned and personal, very stunned. How could this happen? You know, the house that sat on Payne Avenue no longer a part of the St. Paul scenery. I drive by here every morning. I'm shocked and I'm and just in awe. No one here knows the 80 year old homeowner badly injured in the explosion. It's hard to ignore the debris laying bare the years spent inside the home. It's a tragedy. The fortunate thing is, I, I mean, someone did get hurt, but fortunately, what I understand, no one was killed. This could have been by far worse. The shattered windows and shuttering of homes, a stark reminder. Well, this speaks for itself. Of the hazards. Uh, pictures, as you look at this, it's an awareness of the dangers and the potential that is with natural gas, with LP gas. We have reached out to the family of the victim, but they declined to comment for this story. In St. Paul, Sharon Yu, Carol Levin News.